Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna to dive into 15 trends in design that I've recognized in the market that will influence the creative industry in 2024. Now the definition of a trend is a movement in design that's gained a broad enough usage to be recognizable as a trend. Remember, trends aren't always absolutely brand new. In fact, very little has never been done before. What I recommend is using trends to stay inspired, possibly use as a jumping off point in your work, and then making that design your own. Or you can choose to consciously react against these trends. It's totally up to you. But knowing what the trend is is critical to informing your work one way or the other and to keeping your clients informed as well. So now let's jump into it. Trend number one is heat mapping. Heat mapping is characterized by blends of color often depicted as a rainbow of colors emanating from a source object or creating some kind of abstract shape. These colors suggest the kind of heat map that you would see if you used infrared imaging to look at or scan an object or a scene. It also suggests the result of eye tracking evaluation software that's often used in consumer research. The subject matter can be figurative or an abstract shape or something organic like a flower as in the packaging on the upper left. Now this technique is being used in a wide range of places from apparel to home furnishings, app design, print media, and web design. Trend number two is activist. The geopolitical landscape has been particularly intense in the last year and will continue to be, unfortunately, through 2024. Now, I want you to understand I'm not trivializing violent conflicts by calling them a design trend. They aren't and they shouldn't be. But what we need to recognize is that throughout history, designers have led the way when it comes to highlighting injustice in the world and inspiring action and change. And when it comes to having both the imagination and the creative means to communicate in a motivating way, we designers are perfectly suited to the task. Let's celebrate the amazing work of thousands of designers who will be flexing their superpower of visual communication in 2024 and continue to be a global voice for good. Trend number three is anarchist. This trend is reminiscent of the two trends that have frequently been called maximalism and glitch, kind of combined in a visual mashup. This trend is characterized by complete visual anarchy in imagery, color, and typography, hence the name. There also seems to be a sense of nihilism in this visual style. Very little true design communication is intended or achieved. Instead, the intention is to create complete visual chaos. This technique can take the form of digital static or complex photographic collage or compositing. And this trend relies almost entirely on imagery, although it often incorporates a deconstructivist use of typography as well. Now I want to take a moment and tell you about a mastermind community of creative pros that I launched this year called Bonfire. It's a hybrid coaching, training, networking, and accountability community. And when you become a member of Bonfire, literally overnight, you'll get access to me as a group mentor and have a support system of peers who will help you succeed in your career and your business. Bonfire's community is where you'll learn and grow with more confidence than you ever have before. And as a member, you get bi-weekly group coaching sessions, a private community platform, a huge resource library of tools and downloads, and tons of other amazing benefits. So if you want to learn more, go to philipvandusen.com slash bonfire. Now let's get back to the trends. Trend number four is Botanica. In stark contrast to the pervasive visual design trends that are heavily based in digital technology, the Botanica trend brings us back to physical reality, plant life in particular. Now, I think this trend is a reaction to the political and cultural strife in the world today and is trying to create a sense of peace and calm in the viewer and the consumer. Plus, there's a timeless beauty in these natural forms and colors that are a real delight to the senses. The color and imagery can be realistic and true to life, or conversely, it can be hyper-real and futuristic, taking the form of AI-generated alien plant life forms that have no basis in reality. Botanica will be used heavily in product packaging, spirits, print, advertising, and can even be found in wayfinding. Trend number five is scrapbooking. Now, scrapbooking is essentially a modern twist on collage, with the update being that the colors that are used are often brighter and more cheerful. In this trend, we're seeing a vibrant and eclectic mix of imagery, the range of textures that often juxtapose radically disparate sources and time periods. This trend nods to the historical art of collage, dating back to the early 20th century, 
and used by the Dadaists and Russian constructivists to challenge the traditional perspectives and create layered meanings. Brands that are looking to convey modernity with a touch of nostalgia can leverage this trend to create memorable designs and resonate on multiple levels. Scrapbooking's uses include traditional print media, magazines and posters, web design, editorial illustration, and advertising. Trend number six is digital deconstructivist. This trend is a digital homage to the deconstructivism movement, which fragmented and manipulated ideas of structure and form. Mirroring the architectural rebellion of the late 20th century, the digital deconstructivist trends shakes up graphic design with layered complexity and unexpected juxtapositions of forms and layers, often relying on sliced or pixelated typography. Text elements are overlaid and reassembled. They challenge readability while pushing the boundaries of conservative design conventions. It's a visual language that speaks to the tech savvy and the avant-garde, and it's perfect for interactive media and motion graphics and brands that want to communicate cutting-edge thinking. Trend number seven, environmental typography, is about breaking out of our digital confines and embracing the physical world. It's a blend of graphic design and architecture, where typography becomes an integral part of the environment on a human scale. This trend harkens back to the days of sign painting, but with a modern approach using bold, towering letters and numbers to create an engaging experience. Its applications include wayfinding in corporate buildings to immersive brand experiences in retail spaces or bringing an exhibition to life. Think of it as functional art that not only informs but also transforms our physical spaces. As brands vie for attention, environmental typography offers an impactful way to communicate messages, whether it's a colossal headline wrapping around a building or a scrolling message that guides you through a space. Trend number eight, Geometrica, celebrates the simplicity and harmony of geometric forms. With roots in the Bauhaus movement and Swiss style, which both emphasize the beauty of clear, precise geometric shapes, this trend brings those principles into the digital age. This trend is characterized by bold, youthful colors and shapes interacting in a way that's both playful and meticulously organized. It's a balance of form and function, where the clean lines of geometry meet the limitless possibilities of digital design. Now, because design trends can sometimes reflect the extremes of the aesthetic spectrum, this trend is a noticeable reaction against the design chaos that we see in anarchist and the digital deconstructivist trends. Applications for this trend would include mobile app interfaces, web design, print, packaging, and editorial layout, among others. Now, I want to take a moment and mention that I often get comments on my trend videos asking how to achieve the aesthetics in the trends that I'm showing. So I want to share with you a not-so-secret secret. Daniel Scott, who in my opinion is one of the best Adobe app trainers out there, has an Adobe training site called Bring Your Own Laptop. The site's subscription-based, and it's an insane value at only $12 a month for access to all the training on the site. Now, Daniel sometimes even uses the trends that I feature here in my trend videos as examples in his trainings. So if you want to get better using your favorite Adobe apps or learn a new one, I suggest that you head over to byol.me forward slash Philip and check out everything that he has to offer. Now that's my affiliate link, which I hope that you'll use if you want to support my continuing work here on YouTube. And with that, let's get back to the trends. Trend number nine is golden era. Golden era is a trend that exudes luxury and sophistication, reminiscent of the Gilded Age and Art Deco's opulence. Gold has always symbolized wealth and exclusivity, but one of the key intentions of using gold in this way is to differentiate from the heavy use of silver, chrome, and brushed titanium that's so common in digital graphic design and technology design. Now this trend is perfect for brands that want to convey a sense of premium quality and timelessness. From packaging to branding, it carries the weight of tradition and can set a product or service apart in a saturated market. Whether it's a minimalist design that uses flat gold color or a full-blown shiny foil spectacle, Golden Era has applications in print, packaging, fashion, digital media, and environmental design, among others. Trend number 10, Kitty Land, is a playful trend that taps into the joy and uninhibited creativity of childhood. 
With all the cultural strife and seriousness in the world, it offers a bit of refuge in its bright colors and whimsical illustrations and fun typefaces that make the designs feel approachable and fun. Kittyland uses a fusion of simple shapes and bold primary colors that evoke a sense of nostalgia and play, and actually really relates to the Geometrica trend that I mentioned previously. Now, while it's obviously appropriate for companies targeting the kids' market, it's also perfect for brands that are young at heart or aiming to communicate simplicity and fun in their messaging. This style is particularly effective in consumer packaging, education materials, and interactive design. And it can also bring a really light-hearted touch to marketing campaigns and inject energy and life into social media content. Trend number 11, Better Red, captures the power and intensity of red, a color that's always made a strong statement in design. It's bold, energetic, and typically paired with black and white, so if you want to command attention, use red. In this trend, the color red is used to create impact and focus. It can be an uninterrupted color backdrop for a minimalist design, as a way to make content shine, or as a part of a more complex pattern that energizes an entire composition. Better Red is ideal for brands looking to take a powerful stance, whether it's through a website, a poster, or product packaging. This trend can be particularly effective in print, where you want to grab attention quickly, and in packaging, where it can also communicate luxury and prestige. Trend number 12, elastotype, is a dynamic trend where typography isn't just red, it's felt. It's about taking fonts and extending them beyond their usual limits, adding a sense of motion to the static page. This technique gives words a visual rhythm that can be seen as a standalone graphic element in their own right and is often used that way. It's a style that works well for brands looking to convey innovation and can be particularly impactful in digital uses like web design, to animate a static layout, or guiding the eye's movement and engaging viewers. It's also effective in print, offering a fresh perspective on posters, book covers, and any medium where you want the typography to make a really bold statement. Trend number 13 is flared fonts, and it's a trend that brings a dose of whimsy and character to typography. Fonts take on a life of their own with curves and embellishments and a tangible sense of movement. They're a modern take on the days of Art Nouveau's ornamental stylings. It's almost like they're sans serif fonts who are trying their hardest on the dance floor to become serifed. They're versatile enough for creative poster designs, editorial headlines that need to sing, and are perfect for brands that want a unique voice and a personal touch. Now in digital, where they achieve a level of visual animation, they're a great choice for brands that are looking to express individuality, and as the name says, flair. Trend number 14 is Vintage Americana. Vintage Americana is serving, this time, as a rejection of the modern, that is, all things AI, technology, and anything digital. It's a feel-good, nostalgic nod to a classically American design aesthetic, reminiscent of the mid-20th century. This timeless style uses retro fonts and warm color palettes, imagery, layouts that conjure up the good old days. Now, the vintage Americana trend is perfect for brands that want to establish a perception of heritage and tradition, and those looking to evoke a sense of comfort and reliability. It works really well virtually anywhere, from print to digital, apparel, spirits, out of home, just to name a few. And it can be particularly impactful in packaging, where it can evoke a sense of quality and craftsmanship of bygone eras. Trend number 15, AI assimilation, marks the evolution of artificial intelligence from the novelty it's been in 2023 to a fundamental aspect of creative design in 2024. It's no longer just about producing fantastical images to share with your friends. It's now a crucial tool that can be used in designing tangible products, items that we interact with every day in our lives. This trend shows AI's power as an ever-expanding reality that's reshaping entire industries as we speak, enabling the creation of objects and spaces that were once impossible to conceive or to visualize. The aesthetic of AI simulation is characterized by its mind-bending detail and precision, and its ability to radically push the limits of form and function. Applications include the fine arts, industrial design, product design, transportation, architecture, fashion, accessories, packaging, layout, animation, and that list is just growing longer every single day. So that's it. 
I hope you were inspired by these 15 trends in design for 2024. And if you were, please hit the subscribe button below and tap that notifications bell so you can get alerted when I post something new or when I go live. And as always, I'd really appreciate it if you'd forward this video to a friend or a colleague or post it on social media so others can be inspired too. So thanks again for watching, stay creative, and bye for now.